Hi, and welcome to my little counter rant to Forever Worlds video about wanting Yu Gi Oh to just go and die. Okay, I'll admit I'm thinking they've gone too far, too. They're beating a dead horse to death, or something like that. But still, I want to mention some stuff that uh, Forever Worlds uh, mentioned. And first off, you never watched 5Ds? I know many people who list the original Yu Gi Oh as number one just for purely nostalgic reasons more often than not, but to me, 5Ds is the best series so far. The story is interesting, the duels are great, and although it does get ridiculous towards the end, but that, yeah, that's, that's just how Yu Gi Oh goes. Uh, and the characters in 5Ds are the best in the franchise. I'm not gonna pull back on that. You wouldn't get it since you haven't watched it, but trust me. They are good. And as for the concept of cards and motorcycles, I was skeptical too. And at first I just didn't get it. But after not many episodes, I just started understanding the special rules that apply. Yes, there are rules. And I could just enjoy myself while watching and understanding what they're doing. Zeal or Zixel or however you want to pronounce it, on the other hand, what's the word for it? It was... Ugh, do we have bleep noise here? Anyway, <laughs> I wasted my life on that. I mean, the story is alright, but the characters just kill it. It kills the show. And you may just think that all the main characters do cheat wins to some extent in all the series. And yes, they do, but none like Yuma. It's like, I draw a card, I look at it, it's not what I need, I transform it into what I can win with. And then he goes on to win. And that's just... Well, there isn't a big enough palm to do a good enough face palm with in the entire world. But now what's the, what the rant is all about? It's about Arc 5 or Arc V or whatever you want to call it. It's pronounced Arc 5 in Japanese, so yeah. Or Arc 5! But anyway, now when I start get, watching a new series in a franchise, whether it's Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything else, I always think that this probably won't be as good as the previous. And I got a surprising experience in a positive way with 5Ds because it was awesome. And then I thought, yeah, now we're good to go for the next one. And then I see Zeal and I get surprised again, but in a very, very, very negative way. And I just thought, oh no, they're never gonna recover from that. I'm glad this is the last. And then suddenly, what? Another one? You're messing with me. Stop it. Uh, but after watching 30 episodes or so, I just, I'm just thinking, wow, this is pretty good. So far, it's better than Zeal, and it may even be better than GX. I'm not really sure. I mean, up to the point where it is now, 30 plus a few episodes, I think it fares better than GX2 did at the time, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, and it's one of those nice surprises. I mean, Zeal was rock bottom. It was down there. It was the antipode of wherever you are on the world. And they have done a surprise recovery from it, I think. And I mean, the story isn't completely explained yet, but it does show promise. May still be plot holes there, but who cares? It's good so far. I'm gonna hope they keep it up. And it has my attention for now. The duels are good, and the way the main character accidentally creates a new summoning style. It actually, I like it. That's good. I mean, the cards, yes, they transform, but it's that one time, and it's... He, he doesn't get what he's doing himself, he's just doing it on instinct or something. I'm guessing the, the spirit of his father or something came there, but whatever is the cause, I, uh, I, I'm liking it so far. And the duels are good, good like I said, uh, and the characters too, they're... They're not great, by all, by any means, they're not great, but the characters are okay. They get a passing grade, I can live with them. And the concept of action duels, actually, where duelists can ride on their monsters and run about collecting random magic cards from the field, it's actually, uh, it's actually very fun. They interact with it and they destroy the, uh, the world that they're in when they're dueling there. It's just, it's just excellent fun. And it's also a way for the main character to bypass the standard, Oh no, everything depends on my one final card in the deck. Draw! And yes, it's what I need, but in this case it's more like, I, I draw a card. Oh, 
I can do something with this, but I can't win. But if I get something good out on the field, ah, got it. I mean that that works. That works for me. If he's lucky, he gets what he needs, and let's admit it, the main characters of Yu-Gi-Oh are the luckiest people that exist. So yeah, and each field has its own theme. So there's always something new, and new cards, may, I mean, often they do the same thing, but they have different names, and you sort of wonder what you're gonna come up with next. But what I really enjoy about Arc 5 is it does what Zeal didn't. When I started watching Zeal, I was hoping, oh, there's gonna be a both Synchros and Xyz monsters now, and there's just Xyz, and I'm just going, where are all the cool Synchro monsters? I mean, what, 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 where are they? And it is like they never existed. And I get the whole picture, it's a parallel universe and all that stuff, but it's why no synchros. But Arc 5 does it properly. It gets synchros and X is in there, along with fusion, along with ritual summoning, along with the new pendulum summon, of course. If it was only the uh, pendulum summon in the entire show that could be summoned from the X-Rank apart from the uh, ever so present fusion summon, then what's the point? Really, what's the point? And it, it does leave for more variable duels and what we have seen in recent episode, rivalry between the different special summoning types, which I think is uh, interesting and cool personally. So, you can say what you want, but 5D's rocks, ArcV is promising, and I'll admit they seem to be milking it dry, bone dry, but as long as the series is good, I'm not complaining. Sure, it was supposed to end after GX, but then the other was presented with the concept of synchro summoning and was intrigued, so he went for it, and boy am I glad he did. And that was to be the end, but for unknown reasons, he let Zeal be created, and that's something I'm not very happy about, and yeah, you may think I would have just preferred to just let it end there, and I was hoping it would end, because I was thinking, no, don't go about destroying it anymore, and then they announced Arc 5. Why? So, yeah. But if Arc 5 manages to stay the way it is, on the level it is, then it will be better than Zeal, and I think that's actually good for the franchise. If if it ends after Arc 5, it will end on a better note, and just be a better memory for people who follow it to the end. Now, just to end this little counter rant of mine, here's my list of Yu-Gi-Oh! series from worst to best, in my opinion. And I'm gonna get a shit ton of flack for this, but here it goes. Number 5, Zeal. Do I need to say anything more than I already have? It's an okay story, but it's horribly executed with terrible characters and ridiculous duels. Moving on. Number 4. GX. No, I'm not gonna get nostalgia and let it get a high ranking just because, oh, it was just, it was the second series, it was while the series was still good. No. The beginning of it is fun to watch, and the end is okay, and the characters are amusing. But I always felt like they just made it a school-oriented joke. Because they could, and because they didn't have any better idea for what to do. I also find many aspects of it just kind of ridiculous at points, and it's riddled with plot holes. Number three, temporarily, Arc 5. Yes, dropping it down here in the middle. I think so far it's showing more promise than GX and Zeal did at this stage, like I explained. And how it goes from now is unknown, so I think placing it in the middle is fair, and... Depending on how it goes, it may rise to second place, or even first place. I am kind of optimistic now. Or it may just drop stone dead last. But it is an interesting story, good characters, good duels so far. Third place is, as I said, temporarily. We'll see how it goes from here. Next up, number two. The original Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monster series. And I can hear you already, you're saying, wait, what? Blasphemy! But I, while I like it, I still think, and I think it's a good show, but they didn't follow the rules. They just follow their own rules. I summon everything at once, and I activate cards that really can't be activated now, and things that don't, that is, ugh, oh, do I need to get started? 
story-wise, it was excellent, and it's more, much more story-driven than any of the others, but also, it's lacking in duels at times, and I know it has one, probably the best duel in the history of the show, at the end of it, between Yugi and the Pharaoh. But despite this, uh, it just ranks second. Then number one, the only one left, so it has to be the one I have already proclaimed my favorite. Five Ds. Yes, I like the one where they play card games on motorcycles. And I advise you to give it a go. You might surprise yourself by liking it. And like I said before, I think it has the best characters of any show of the franchise, and that counts for a lot. The duels are excellent. The duelists don't muck about tons of unnecessary dialogue during the duel. Usually, they sometimes they stand on the sidelines and comment, but the duelists, they know what they're doing and not going, uh, what do I do now and all that. They're, they're, they're calm, collected, and, and they keep thinking of the next step, never giving up. Yes, I know the last part there is very standard, but rather than panic, they go, okay, hoping for the next card to be good. And it's good. I'm summoning and I save myself for this round. And they just keep that calm. It's good. It's good to see mature characters. And while the story is not excellent, I actually think it's fairly good. So that's to its advantage. So again, if anyone hasn't watched it simply because they feel like anything past GX is pure blasphemy, then you're missing out. Alright, that's it. Thank you for listening. This has been Anime Mixer 1. And I approve of this message.